Yes. Yes. Uh, again, welcome, Jude, and I wish you, inshallah, all the best with your course. So, as we mentioned, the title of your course is Cutting Age Elementary. Cutting Age Elementary. As you may know, in this course, you have 14 units. So, here, this is Unit 1, Unit 2, until Unit 14. Okay? So our plan is to finish one unit per week. Inshallah, Rabbil Amin. So this is the first class. So uh, uh, class three, you should be uh, 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 ready for the next unit. Okay? So again, after we finish unit one and the two, you should have test one. And test one covers units one and the two. Once you finish units three and four, you should have test two and so on. Which means at the end of each two units, you should have a progress test. I need to check your uh, progress. If you have any questions, any problems, you can ask me to repeat or revise again. Right? Okay. And after uh, unit seven, after unit seven, inshallah, you should have mid course exam mid course exam after unit 7 and after you finish unit 14 after you finish unit 14 you should have end of course exam end of course exam okay, okay. And the passing grade inshallah rabbil mean to be successful at the end of this course you should get 70% 70% Okay? okay. So this is the outline of your course. This is the name of your course, the level of your book, and how many units are there, and how many exams should you uh, sit for, and what is the program? Any questions? Okay. okay, great. So this is unit one. Unit one. Okay? Read the okay. title, please. People, people and the places people and the places can you please let me know what can you see in this picture um i'm seeing people that they're talking yes and they're just yes so as you mentioned you can see people and also places right yes what do, uh, where are they where are they what do you think where are they um, I think that they are at the restaurant. Restaurant. Yes. They are somewhere, right? Yes. They, but how you know this is the restaurant? Here, as you see, it's a huge tree. This is a huge tree behind them. So yes. I think they are in an open air. They are outside. Yes. Maybe in a park, maybe, uh, maybe in the street. Right? right? So what do you think? Are they friends? Yes, they are friends. Maybe friends. Maybe a brother and sister. Maybe husband and wife. You know? So, yes. yes. So here, let's read the objectives of Unit 1. What should you learn, inshallah, in Unit 1? Look, here, on your, on your right, on your uh, left hand, please read the objectives of Unit 1. The objectives of Unit 1. Okay. Here. This one? Inshallah, at the beginning of uh, this unit, you should learn the, the verb to be, how to use it, positive forms, and the negative forms. Short forms and the long forms. So this is the first grammar forms. Okay, P, positive form is P, positive and the negative short forms. Also articles with jobs, articles with jobs. What I mean by articles? Of course, you will know articles. For example, if I ask you, what's your job? I don't have a job, I study at school. Yes, I know you don't have a job, but now 
Now, what's your job? My job is a teacher. What about you? You are a student. Yes. Okay, so now your job is a student. You are a student, right? Can you say, I am a student or I am a student? What is the right one? I am a student. I am a student. So, or yes. I am a student. Uh, no, without uh, just uh -huh. our students. Yes, that's it. That's what you learn in this unit, inshallah. When you mention the job, ya Juri, ya sorry, ya, ya Jude, you should say a, you should say an article. I am engineer or I am an engineer. I am an engineer. If I ask about you, my dad is. For example, my dad is a police officer or my dad is police officer. We should use a or an before the job, as you will see. So this is a good point for you. And inshallah, uh, we'll explain it in detail. Don't worry about this. And also personal questions. Personal questions. Okay, when you meet someone for the first time and you need more details about him or her, so you should ask some personal questions like what can you give me examples of personal questions what's your name exactly what's your name what's um, how old are you perfect how old are you where are you from you know where are you from yes and you can what's your phone number something like that so we we'll call them personal questions what about vocab? Inshallah, in this unit, we'll focus on countries and the nationalities. Countries, nationalities, like, where are you from, Jude, uh, Judy? Uh, Jude, sorry, where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Okay, you are from Saudi Arabia, so you are Saudi. So here we have Saudi Arabia country, Saudi nationality, like this. And also, in this unit, you should learn some more jobs, okay? okay? For speaking, you should find information from documents. This is speaking and writing. I'll uh, also, for at the end of this unit, I'll give you a video about life in the Arctic. Life in the Arctic. How do people live in, uh, let me say, in very, very cold area? It's called polar uh, food. Okay, so let's start with some uh, uh, speaking and listening questions. What should you do here, Jude? Listen and the number the sentences in order you hear. Again, listen to the conversation or the dialogue and number the order you hear. Ready? Yes. Okay. So here, let me play the audio. And by the way, I'll share the audio with you. Can you hear me? Yes. I, I'll share the audio with you to your email. I'll share the link with you so you can listen. Yes, you can listen to the audios as much as you can. Okay. Listening? Yes. Okay, great. Again, listen again. Okay, so what's number one? Uh, I can't hear, there's no sound there. You can't hear? No. Wait, let me repeat. No... Now listening? No. No?
Now listening. Unit one, recording yep. one. Now listening. Yes. Hello. Okay, great. My name's Adam. What's your name? Hi, I'm Teresa. Nice to meet you, Teresa. And you. One more time. Unit one, recording one. Hello, my name's Adam. What's your name? Hi, I'm Teresa. Nice to meet you, Teresa. And you. So, what's number one? Where I can just answer. Here. Should yeah. write one next to the sentence. So, this is number one. Uh, number one, it's hello, my name's Adam. What's your name? Great, this is number one. Number two, um, hi, I am Teresa. Yes, great. Number three, uh, number three, nice to meet you, Teresa. Are you sure? Here we have four sentences or four phrases. So, hello, my name is Adam. What's your name? This is number one. Hi, I'm Teresa. So, and you? Okay. No, uh, nice to meet you, Teresa. Yes. Yes. Great. This is number three. Number four. And you. And you. Great. And you here means nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. What does it mean nice to meet you too? Or nice to meet you? What does it mean? Nice to meet you. Do I say it at English or at Arabic? Yes, yes, in Arabic and in, in English, no problem, as you know. Um, and I think so. Exactly, yes, you're right. Yani, pleased to meet you. As you say in Arabic, and it's sharafna bil Sa'ud to be like this, okay? That when you should say nice to meet you? When should you say, when should you say nice to meet you? When you use this sentence or this phrase? Um, when someone uh, say that my name is maybe Salman or uh, I yeah. came from... Then we say nice to meet you. Exactly. And also when you meet people for the first time. You should say yes. yes when you meet people for the first time. When you meet new friends. Okay. You should say after knowing uh, his or her name, you should say nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. This is great. So now. Here, complete the conversations with the sentences in the box. Now come to exercise 2A. Read the sentences in the box before completing the, the, the sentences or the conversations. Can you read them, please? Yes. I read uh, the box or the... Yes, in the box, please, in the box. Okay, I find six things. Nice to meet you, May. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Are you from the USA? Now, question one or conversation one. Hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Great. So, I'm fine, thanks. This is number one. Yes. Okay. Con conversation two. This is me. She's from Hong Kong. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Great. Nice to meet you, May. She answered, nice to meet you too. Or you can say, and you. Yeah, and you can say like this. You can say, and you. The same meaning, okay. and you. Right? Right. Like the next one. Um, mm -hmm. Are you from the USA? No, no. 
break. Where Perfect. are you from? I'm from Sydney. Sydney and Australia. Sydney, yeah, I'm from Sydney, Sydney and, and Australia. Oh, really? Great. I'm from Sydney in Australia. That's right. So now let's listen and check your answers. Listen. Okay. Unit one. Recording two. Listening. One. Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Two. This is May. She's from Hong Kong. Nice to meet you, May. Nice to meet you, too. Three. Are you from the USA? No, no. Where are you from? I'm from Sydney, in Australia. Oh, really? Yes, the same answers, right? Now, yes. let's practice the dialogues again. I am A and you are B, please. Hi, okay. how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Thanks, how are you? Great, thanks. Two. This is May. She's from Hong Kong. Nice to meet you, May. Nice to meet you, too. Three. Are you from the USA? No, no. Where are you from? I'm from Sydney in Australia. In Australia. Australia? Oh, really? Okay. So, please let me uh, repeat number three again, uh, Jude. And please, you're on your personal details. Are you from what? Saudi Use your own personal details. Okay. Use your name, use your uh, uh, personal details, right? So, are you from, are you from the, uh, the USA? No, no. Where are you from? I'm from the mom in Saudi Arabia. Oh, really? Yeah, excellent. Well done. Now, please move to the next page. Okay, page seven. Let's start with the grammar focus. Positive forms. Okay, positive forms. Okay. Here, verb to be, verb to be, we have are, am, is. Okay, positive forms, yani positive, as you see in Arabic, yani halat al isbat. Can you please, Jude, I know may, this may be easy for you, so you can do it quickly. Yes. Can you please complete, choose, choose the right word, I am, is, or are. Okay. Number one. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. And number two, are you from Mexico? Great. Yes. From Ireland, Ireland. Yes, Ireland. Carla is from Italy. Ben Great. and Emily are from Australia. Perfect. Well done. The next one. Right. What or where? What or where? What's your name? Where are you from? Yes. yes. What's your name and where are you from? Okay, great. Now, please move to the next part. Okay, let's finish this quickly and look at the two pictures. Here, what's your name? Where are you from? Okay, again, you the, the personal question that you may use to ask personal details when you meet people for the first time. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me ask you about those people. Um, imagine you know them and we have their names and their countries. Abid or Abid Arif, for example, the first one. Let me ask about him. What's his name? His name is Abid Ar. Okay, where is he from? 
He is from the UAE. Perfect. Number two, please ask me. Okay. Where is he from? He's from Argentina. What is his, what is his name? What's his name? What is his name? So his name is Luca Sim. Okay, great. Let me ask you about picture three. What's his name? His name is Adrian. Yes, where is he from? He is from Poland. Poland. Poland, perfect. Now, please ask me about the next picture. What is their names? Okay. What are their names? What are their names? Great. They are Jew and Eli or El Kelly. Their names are Jew and El Kelly, or you can say they are Jew and El Kelly. Yes, another question, please. Where they are they from? Perfect. Where are they from? They're from Australia. Perfect. Now, let me ask you about the next picture. Here. What's her name? Her name is Alicia Cruz. Yes, her name is Alice, Ali, Alicia or Alicia Cruz. Where is she from? She is from Mexico. She's from Mexico, great. The last picture. What are their names? What are their names? They are Andreessen family. Yes, they are the Anderson family. And where are they from? They are from the USA. Yes, great. So now, here, as I, as I told you, uh, uh, Jude, here we have study, practice, and remember. Look, study, practice, and remember, page 138. Could you please go to page 138? Okay. 138. Okay. okay, get it? Yes. Yes. This is, yes. For each unit, you have this part. This part is for further practice, further explanation, and the more practice for the grammar and the vocabulary. And when I ask you SPR, let me say it SPR. S for study, P for practice, R for remember. So we'll call them SPR. SPR means when I ask you to write your homework, for example, SPR, page blah, 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 like this means you should go to this part, SPR. So okay. here in this part, in this part, as you see here, we have positive, the same rule again, positive. If you need more details about the lesson, you can read this like here, I am, long form am, you are your, he is, his, she is, she's, it is, it's, we are where, they are there. So here more explanation, the how to use the short form and the long form, right? Then you have practice one. This practice one, again, as you did in, in, in the first part, use am, um, is, or are, and so on, and so on. Okay, so the new lesson you can say study two. Here, pra here explanation. Here, practice two. Like this. Here, study three. Articles with jobs. Here, explanation. Example or practice three. Study four, and so on. At the end of this uh, unit, you can see the key words. When I ask you, Jude, you have a spelling. For example, spelling, spelling in dictation. 
here the keywords of all the units. Okay, like for example, country and the nationality, Australia, Australian, Brazil, Brazilian. So you can use the keywords and the study them from here. Jobs, uh -huh, all the jobs, other words. So this page is really important. And this practice only for vocabulary. So again, SPR for a study practice and remember is for grammar and the vocabulary. And this is good for you to revise before the exam. For example, you have exams, uh, uh, exam covering units one and two. So you can revise unit one from here and unit two in the same way. This summary and mulakhas the kul lidrasti for unit one and unit two and so on. Okay? So until the end of the course. So uh, this is the real important part, as I told you, for grammar and the vocab only. Okay? So okay. now let's complete this. This is practice one. We'll finish to be positive. So please, I give you half, half a minute. Answer practice one. Okay. M is for R. I'm done. Yes, read number one, please, to check. Okay, I am from Spain. Yes, I am. Here you can use long form or short form. You can say am or here am like this or long form I am from Spain. Okay, two. She is a student. Yes, she is a student. You can say is like this long form or short form you can write apostrophe S. She's from or she's a student. Great. Three. You are 25. Yes, 25 you are. Years old. Yes, you can use R long form or short form like this apostrophe R E. Sir, I can't use my smart pen uh, uh, today. Uh, just the battery is is dying, so uh, I need to replace the battery. Uh, what about four? That's why the, the the writing is not clear enough. They Italian. Okay, they are Italian. Yes. Again, you can use short form. Yes. Next. My teacher is from Scot Scotland. 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 Right. Number six. We are Australian. Exactly. So this is the first part or the first grammar lesson in unit one. Let's go back to uh, our main uh, uh, pages. I think page nine. Page nine, right? Or page, yes, page eight. Page eight. Okay. So page eight here, as you see, can you see my screen? Yes. So now vocabulary focus, vocabulary focus. Countries, nationality, and this for spelling, as I told you. Okay. okay. One of your homework is what? To memorize, write, write the words in, uh, in correct spelling, the country and the nationality. Can you read them? Yes, with the answer or no? No, just read the words in the box. Here the words, are they nationalities or countries? Okay. British. Yeah. American, Japanese, Chinese, mm -hmm. Polish, Italian, mm -hmm. Vietnamese. Vietnamese, yeah. R Russian. 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 Okay. Irish. Irish, Spanish, Brazilian, Australian. Yes. All these words, countries or nationalities, Jude? Uh, they're nationalities. Yes, you are right. They are nationalities. So now what should we do now? Please match the country on the left to the nationality on the right. 
Okay. Okay. Let's do them oral and you can write them as homework. Let's do them oral. Okay. So Spain. Spanish. Spanish. Great. China. Chinese. Chinese. The USA. Um, American. American, yes. Brazil. Brazilian. Brazilian, great. Italy. Um, Italian. Italian, great. Uh, great Britain. Great Britain. Um, huh. British. Uh, okay, British. British. For example, my teacher is from Great Britain. Means what? My teacher is huh? British. Yes. Okay. Type. Okay. Uh, Poland. Um. Polish. Polish. Okay. Uh, Australia. Australian. Australian. Yes. Japan. Japanese. Japanese, yeah. Uh, uh, Vietnam. Vietnamese. Vietnamese, yeah. Ireland. Um, Irish. Irish. Russia. Uh, Russian. Russian. So now you should listen again. Listen again to the country and the nationality and please focus on pronunciation. Yani how okay. to read them correctly how to read them correctly. So listen okay. and check, please. Listen and check. You can repeat, by the way, you can repeat. Listening? Spain. Listening? Spanish. Yes. Okay. China. Chinese. Mm -hmm. The USA. American. Brazil. Brazilian. Italy, Italian, Great Britain, British, Poland, Polish, Australia, Australian, Japan, Japanese, Vietnam, Vietnamese, Ireland, Irish, Russia, Russian. Yes. Would you like to listen again? Yes. Yes, please listen again. After listening again, please read the country and the nationality, right? Listen. Unit one, recording three. Spain, Spanish. China, Chinese, the USA, American, Brazil, Brazilian, Italy, Italian, Great Britain, British, Poland, Polish, Australia, Australian, Japan, Japanese, Vietnam, Vietnamese, Ireland, Irish, Russia, Russian. Now ready to read? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Uh, just the nationality or the country and the nationality? Both, please. Country and the nationality. Okay. Spain, Spanish, mm -hmm. China, Chinese, mm -hmm. the, USA, the USA, American, mm -hmm. Brazil, Brazilian. Great. Italy, <coughs> Italian. Okay. Great, Great Britain. Britain. British, Poland, Polish, yes, Poland, Polish, yeah, Australia, 
Australian. Great. Japan, Japanese. Mm -hmm. Vietnam, Vietnamese. Excellent. Uh, Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. Um, Irish. 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 Excellent. Perfect. Uh, Russian. Russia. Russia, Russian. Russian. Russia, Russian. Okay, Russia, Russian. Perfect. Wonderful. Great. Excellent. Okay, so now after uh, uh, countries and nationalities, again, uh, Jude, please, uh, uh, next class, I'll dictate you. I'll ask you, please write what you hear. I'll choose any country or any nationality and should be ready to write them uh, uh, correctly. Okay? okay? After you finish, please, you can take foot and let me check your writing. So now reading and listening, focus. By the way, uh, Jude, please, the, the class should end in one minute. So if it ends, don't worry. Please join again using the same link. Okay. okay? No worries about this. If it ends, please join again using the same link. So now listen, check your answers. So now we have a survey. Okay, but let's stop now. Let's stop now and please join again to start reading and vocab and listening focus, okay? okay. Yes, please join again. 